hi class we meet again and in this video I'm going to show you another example on moving boundary work but uh, now the process is a combined process so let's have a look at the questions that we have here a piston cylinder device contains 0 0.15 kilogram of air so we are dealing with your idle gas here initially at 2 megapascal and the temperature is 350 degrees C the air is first expanded isothermally to 500 kilopascal then compressed polytropically with a polytropic exponent of 1.2 to the initial pressure and finally compress at the constant pressure to the initial state determine the boundary work for each process and the network of the cycle so if you can see here we have actually um, three process where the first one is isothermal and then we have compressed polytropically and finally compressed at constant pressure to the initial state so first let us uh, sketch the conditions that we have on a PV diagram so let's say we have your PV diagram over here and the initial state is your P1 which is if you can see here it is 2 megapascal and then it says that the air is first expanded so when it is expand you are going to have A volume expansion over here because it is expand so it's going to be uh, in this directions and then it says that um, it is then compressed polytropically so you know from your notes that if it's the compression polytropic compressions so it's going to be a curve like this and it says that compressed polytropically with a polytropic exponent exponent of 1.2 to the initial pressure so this is the initial pressure so that's why we need to stop it stop at here right and then it says finally it is compressed at a constant pressure to the initial state right so this is where we begin just now and then the piston cylinder expand to this state before it is being compressed back polytropically and you have another compression at a constant pressure so you see here this 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 will make the constant pressure line so let's attach this together right so and we label that this is your initial state this is second state and this is the third state and this will be your P2 and your P1 here is equal to your P3 so you have a temperature constant here this is your PV 1.2 is constant and you have a pressure constant process so as you can see here this is a combination of three processes that we have in a moving boundary work of your piston cylinder right so let's um, list down what is given to you so you have your mass is equal to 0 0.15 kilogram next you know that for your state one given to you your pressure is equal to 2 megapascal and 
your temperature is 350 degrees C you need to plus with your Kelvin because we are dealing with ideal gas uh, problem and this is a constant temperature work so for a constant temperature your work boundary 1 to 2 is equal to your P1 V1 ln V2 over your V1 or it is much simpler if you can make use of the value that is already given to you here right so let's try on another equation which is your m and your gas constant for air times if your temperature at one ln p1 over your p2 so from the uh, questions p2 is already given P1 is already given, T1 is already given, mass is also known, the only thing is your R, where again, your R for air, if it's not given, you can always check from your property table, which is your table A2. Alright, so next we have your state 2, which given to you, P2 is equal to 500 kilopascal and it is a polytropic compression process here with your index n is 1.2 so your n is equal to 1.2 and to calculate your moving boundary work from state 2 to 3 is equal to your P3, V3 minus your P2, P2, 1 minus N. So next we have your state 3, which is for your straight state 3, your P3 is equal to your uh, P1, which is 2 megapascal. And the, the process is compression process back to initial states so the process is constant pressure you only have a change in volume over here so therefore your work boundary 3 to 1 is equal to your pressure times the difference of your volume alright so you already um, list down all the uh, equations that involve in this uh, three combined process of your moving boundary work so let's uh, solve it uh, one by one now let's solve uh, the first equations that we have here which is your moving boundary work from one to two so your work boundary of 1 to 2 is equal to your mass given to you is uh, 0 0.15 kilogram and because you are dealing with your uh, air so the R value is 0 0.2870 and your temperature is uh, 350 plus with your Kelvin value to 73 so it is 623 Kelvin and ln with your pressure so you have pressure 1 2 megapascal uh, we make it to 2000 uh, kilopascal over with your pressure 2 which is 500 kilopascal so you are going to have your work boundary from 1 to 2 is equal to 
kilojoule. All right, next we solve for your um, polytropic process, which is work from two to three. But if you have a look at your um, boundary work for two to three, you are going to need your volume at three and as well as volume at two. And it what it is not given in your uh, information in your uh, problem statement. So, what is your V two and your V three? So, if we look back uh, in this first. Um, Process, your V two actually can be gain, it can be obtained from your uh, PV MRT, and as for your um, V three, you can get it from the relations of this PV n constant. So, let's have a try here. So you can see here from the relations of your PV MRT. And you know that process 1 to 2 is a constant temperature, so your T1 is actually equal to your T2. So you plug in all the value that you have, so you got your V2 is equal to 0 0.05364 meter cube. So there you have your value for V2. Alright, next is to find your um, V3 here. So V3. Uh, the relations between your V3 and V2 is that you have this polytropic process uh, constant. So you equate this uh, state 3 polytropic with this polytropic at state 2. And you ar arrange your P3 uh, to your right hand side. And you plug in all the values. And when you solve, you will get your V3 is equal to 0 0.0169 meter cube. Right, so now that you have uh, obtained the value of your volume, next is you plug into this uh, work boundary for polytropic process. So when you plug all the values and you calculate, you are going to get negative 34.86 kilojoule. This negative here indicates that your work of compressions when compressions happens, the volume uh, will be less. Therefore, this negative value indicates that uh, the work is a compression process. Since the question asks you to find the total uh, network, uh, you need to leave this uh, negative, negative signs uh, here. To indicate that this is a compression work. All right. Next, we solve for your uh, constant pressure process. So you have your work boundary from state three to one is equal to your pressure times with the change of volume. Uh, sorry, this is this one should be corrected to your to state one v one. Right. So how do you get your v one? So it is the same with your how do you get your V2 over here. You make use of this ideal gas equation, PV MRT. So this will be your V1, M times R times your T1 over with your P1, which is in this case, P1 is equal to uh, 2 megapascal or 2000 kilopascal. So when you plug in all the values into here, you are going to get your volume at 1, is equal to 0 0.01341 meter cube. So when you plug in all the values, you will get again, negative here indicates that this process is a compression work. Now finally, we want to calculate for your work net. So work net is actually the summation of all the work boundary that you have here. So we have three process, 1 to 2 is constant temperature, 2 to 3 is polytropic constant, and 3 to 1 is a pressure constant. So when you total up, 
all these three, your work net will be negative 4.65 kilojoule. And this negative, uh, negative signs here indicates that uh, this, this is a work done to the system. If you have any inquiries, please uh, leave your questions in the comment section uh, below. Thank you.